Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I don't have another ferry flight, unfortunately, nothing like that. Um, in the last video we flew the Bell 47 to Mexico. It is off to its new owner. He's happy with it there. So that's a good thing there. Um, this airplane, this is the 150 that we flew back from Sacramento, California, and it is in the middle of a instrument panel upgrade. And so I've had a lot of fun figuring out the best ways to do that, wiring all the avionics and getting that set up. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour on kind of where I'm at in the process now and what it took to get there. And then we have a new helicopter in the fleet. Super excited about it. We're gonna take it for a spin. So stay tuned to the video. Glad to have you guys along as always. Thanks for watching. Let's get to it. So for a brief rundown of how I got it from the original panel, and here's a picture of what it looked like before, to how we got it from that to what it is now. Um, obviously the first step was to pull everything that was in there out. So all the old radios, all the old wiring, um, the panel obviously, all the plastics, everything had to come out. Obviously we had to take the yolks out. Um, so it took a day or two to get everything to where we could start building back. And uh, so then after that, I, I just pretty much printed off the wiring diagrams for all of these units and started plugging pins into the, into the D-sub plugs and uh, pin by pin. And uh, they do all power on, they do work. And then after that, just making the uh, ends for the antennas, for the nav antennas, the glide slope antenna, the GPS antenna and all that good stuff. Hopefully about a month out on this project if nothing crazy comes up uh, but until then we do have something else we do have another helicopter let's go take a look at that Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, successful start. Temperatures, pressures, charging, everything's looking good. So I'll just let it warm up for a minute or two. And let's go fly. As far as uh, some of the technical points of the MD500, it's, uh, it burns about 27 gallons per hour of Jet A. And uh, like I said, it's 450 horsepower, so it, it packs a lot of punch. All right, fuel stop complete. We topped it off both tanks. So yeah, let's go explore the river a little bit. <laughs> 